What's up, people? It's your boy Urban. You know what I do. I come to bring that nice, juicy flavor to you guys. And this one is about our man Jordan Clarkson. Like I told you guys in the previous videos, him and uh, Russell been working hard, extremely hard, to try to be ready and prepare for the season. This video is basically about Jordan Clarkson um, extending his uh, his shots. You know, um, and this come out of um, SB Nation. It's written by um, Harrison uh, Fagan. And this video, this article is about it's a Lakers offseason news. Jordan Clarkson apparently doesn't miss three pointers anymore. All right. Following a season in which the Los Angeles Lakers set a new low for the worst record in the, hi in the history of their franchise, there are there are a lot of things the team has to improve. Near the top of the list is their three-point shooting, especially now that they have a head coach who thinks it wins championship. Now I'm gonna stop right here and I'm gonna go back to the reason why I said Demar Derozan doesn't fit the script. Like I said, he's a good player. He's like one of the players that that can go off back in the '80s where it was more of a two-shot, you know go to the basket type player. DeMar DeRozan in the 80s could easily score 25, 30 points on a good team. Why? Because like I said, his skill set is set like that. But in this time day and age, with the error and everything is going forward, the three-pointer is more of the win-lose situation now. Like I said, you look at Golden State, these guys taking anywhere from what, 20 to 30 three-pointers a game. So if Luke Walton is bringing that same um, offensive strategy to LA, like I said, it's going to be spacing where he expect them to bang the threes. It makes it more spacing so that way guys like Randall, you know, if we get um, Simmons, can penetrate, go to the basket. If we get Ingram, we still have better um, spreading of the, of the court where these guys are arced, arced around the three-point arc. And at that same time, you know, it lets the center, we got white side, whatever we decide on, whatever direction we decide to go with um, free agents or, you know, our draft picks and all that, it will benefit what Luke Walton is trying to do. That's why I said the three-point ball is the win opportunity for them. You know what I mean? The whole triangle motion offense is the three-ball killer. That's the whole thing of it. You know, to, to get the off, to get the defense to come out and open up the paint so they can do a lot of other things. So with that being said, let me get back to the article. The Lakers weren't even close to the level of shooting required to win at a championship level. Over the course of 2015-16 season, with their 31.7% success rate from behind the arc, ranking as the worst percentage in the league. Their shooting ability, or lack thereof, really shot them in the foot when considering their 24.6 attempt per game, for the 13th most of any team in the league. Jordan Clarkson was responsible for 4.1 of those threes each game. And while he shot a, re a respectable 34.7%, the third year guard has been fairly vocal in his desire to improve his outside shot this offseason. Is what Jordan Clarkson had to say. I spent a lot of time in the gym, Clarkson told Silver Scream, um, Silver Scream and Roll in an interview at his basketball camp last week. A lot of shooting, a lot of reps. I did a lot of work last summer on my mid-range stuff, but now I just want to be able to stretch my game out a little bit more, shooting off the dribble and making plays behind the line. All right, and to say today we got to look at some of those reps and the result Clarkson training seemed fairly promising. And I'm going to actually put the link in the um, description below. It's just going to have a link to his, um, to a Twitter by Elite um, Guard Training where you will just see uh, Jordan Clarkson just knocking out threes. Um, and then it goes on to say, um, excuse me, it says, as the tweet notes, NBA players like Clarkson shoots better in the open gym. But to see him confidently knocking down threes with a smooth stroke is a promising sign of his offseason development. If Clarkson can be a league average or better shooter from behind the arc next year, his pairing alongside D'Angelo Russell in the backcourt will look a lot more seamless while also keeping the floor properly spaced for the rest of his teammates' drives or post up, like I said earlier. The value of proper floor spacing is something Larry Nance Jr. also emphasized in a recent interview. So it appears the effect of Luke Walton's Go to State Warriors inspired offensive philosophy might already be having an effect on these young players. See what I'm saying? So it goes back to what I'm saying. The, the, you know, the triangle motion offense, like I said, is based on the three ball. And that's why I said DeMar DeRozan doesn't fit this because he doesn't bang the three. And I, I don't know if he doesn't bang it. I just know that he don't have confidence in it or something because he only take like one three-pointer a game, if that. You know what I mean? So, you know, it, it wouldn't he wouldn't fit in their, their philosophy scheme. It'd just be a waste. Like I said, he'll be better in, in another team that actually don't look for the three unless he works on his three ball, you know, on the offseason, wherever it may be. But that's why I said Jordan Clarkson will fit Luke Walton's system because why they like to bang the three. And these two guys, I'm telling you, if you just imagine him and Russell getting hot behind the arc, oh my gosh, man. And plus, one thing about, you know, Clarkson is he could put it on the floor and go to the basket too. 
but it opens up more more opportunity for people like Randall Nance um and I'm not even gonna talk about the free agents or the, or, the, or the draft picks that we get I'm just gonna base it on the ones that's already here so people like um Randall and Nance can have a field day inside man because you gotta you know you gotta play man to man if you play zone the three ball actually breaks the zone because that means somebody that's actually gone nobody got to come out and play people that's why you see teams like um Cleveland OKZ, OKC, when they go zone, they run it around trying to, you know, when they play zone, they got a man open. You know what I mean? Because the zone actually, depending on how they break the zone down, you always going to have a man sitting there on defender sitting there guarding a, a particular spot or zone. And if you got all the guys around the arc, you know, three guys around the arc, three or four guys around the arc, however you may do it, you can do so many pick and rolls, it's ridiculous. That's like the triangle offense. You know, the triangle offense is basically like, almost like a, a triangle pick and roll. But I'm getting off topic. I just want to say at the end of the day, um, I'm happy for um, Clarkson. You know, but I do want to say this, though. Keep this in mind. This is only practice where he's actually shooting threes with nobody on him. There's a difference when, you know, the game is on the line or, you know, somebody's sticking him. So it's good to see the brother out there banging him because, wow, we want to see improvement from him and Russell this year. There's no excuses. There's no distraction. Like I said before, there's no Byron Scott. There's no Kobe. You know what I'm saying? So it's a whole new system. Like I said, Luke Walton's a young guy. You know, so it's good to have a young coach with a bunch of young players. I like the – be able to see them guys go out there and just have some fun, man, and win some games. With that being said, this is your boy uh, Urban coming from your mama's basement. You guys have a blessed day. Like, share, subscribe. Get in the comment section. Let me see what you got to say.